Good morning, students. How are you all? I hope you all are fine. So yesterday we discussed about the complementary language, right? From chapter four, yesterday we solved the problems based on exercise two. That means based on complementary language. Today we are going to learn the next concept in learning about pair of angles. That is nothing but supplementary angle. So what is the today's topic? Me supplementary angles. So. Let us see what is meant by supplementary angles. Okay, so once you recall the yesterday concept, when we used to say that the both pair of angles are complementary angles, when we add two angles, if the sum is equal to ninety degrees, we used to say that the pair of angles are complementary. And this is okay. For example, fifty forty, fifty plus forty equal to ninety. If the result is exactly equal to ninety, the sum of two angles is equal to ninety. Complementary angles. Okay. Now, now we are going to discuss about supplementary angles. Okay. Now we are going to discuss about supplementary. It is very similar. It is also related to that in a similar way. Just somewhat different. Okay, now what is meant by supplementary angles? The first definition. Let us see. When the sum of two angles is equal to One eighty degrees. Then the angles are said to be supplementary angles. Clear to you, everyone? The sum of Two angles equal to one eighty degrees. In yesterday's concept, complementary angles. When we add two angles, the sum should be equal to ninety degrees. But in supplementary angles, the sum should be equal to one eighty degrees. Compulsory, we should get exactly one eighty degrees. Then we used to say that those are supplementary angles. Are you clear the definition? Can you take the notes also? What is meant by supplementary angle? Well, the sum of two angles is equal to one eighty degrees. Then the angles are said to be supplementary angles. Now, can we write some examples? Hundred and eighty. So, hundred and eighty is a pair of supplementary angles. This is the first example. How we can take hundred and eighty as an example of supplement? Why? Because first. Sum, sum we get addition, right? So add this both first. Hundred plus eighty. So something but how much mark? One eighty. So we got exactly one eighty, right? So that's why hundred and eighty is the pair of hundred. Okay. Now let me take one more example. One twenty plus twenty. Draw a straight line. Why is one a straight line? 
because the straight line measures exactly 180 degrees. Yes, a straight line measures exactly 180 degrees. So now 180 degrees we have to present. Let me take this as a point four approximately. Hundred degrees, and this is then we add one eighty degrees. Now, what you what you understand by supplementary angle is the sum of two angles is equal to one eighty degrees. So, based on these supplementary angles concept, we are going to solve now exercise the problems. Are you clear with the definition? Yes. Now, let us start <coughs> exercise three. Exercise three. First three. Which of the following? Tens of angles are supplementary. Which of the tens of angles are supplementary? So here, we have three figures. Out of this, we have to identify whether the given tens are supplementary or not. Okay. Now we are explaining two questions. Third one will be another one. Okay. Thank you. 
portion and standing first and third we have to second and fourth second and fourth we have to take class homework teacher voice is breaking so when we when both are Teacher, why is this? Let us Two 
She's breaking to the full. One fifty. No, it's a shift. Please, clear. So we cannot form by using two arbitrals. You can take any two arbitrals from zero to ten. At least you can take any two numbers. And if you add, you are not going to get by any degrees. Even if you take eighty nine and eighty nine. 89 is subtracted, 89 is subtracted, but 89 plus 89 is 179. Yes, this is only the highest value. So we cannot get more than this. That means when we take two upper values, we are unable to form one pair of supplementary values. Compensation in one pair of supplementary values is one upper value. It will be clear. So we cannot form a so upper. We cannot form a pair of supplementary values by using two upper values. So we are doing this. Okay, how do we have to write the reason? Yes, we cannot. Or we have to write yes, we cannot form a pair of supplementary angles by using two acute angles. Why? What is the reason? Because when the sum of two angles is equal to one hundred degrees, then we can only we can we can say that they are supplementary angles. But When we take two upper angles, we are not going to get exactly one hundred degrees. So that that is the reason that by using two upper angles, we cannot form a pair of supplementary angles. Just we have to write the reason here. There is no solution. Just we have to write the reason. Clear. Clear the question. Now let us take the fourth question. Now. Two angles are equal and supplementary. Two angles are equal and supplementary to each other. Fine. Okay. Two angles are equal and supplementary to each other. Find the net SLS concept only. I will clear also. Look here. Two angles are equal and supplementary. First of all, supplementary. Okay. What is mean by supplementary? If you take two angles, the sum should be equal to one hundred degrees. The voice is breaking. The representation we does in a straight angle. Okay. This straight angle is given in two parts. Is it okay? Two angles now. But here, given the condition, they are equal. Equal means it is going to divide exactly into half. Okay, so I was dividing exactly into half. half. But first, I don't know what is the measurement here and here. So I was taking here it as x, here it is also x. Clear? Now we have to find what is this angle. By absolute we can only get it. But let us solve it. Now, now. Look here. What is the definition? The sum of two equal to one eighty degree. So when we add these both angles, compensate the sum should be equal to one eighty degree. So first we consider x now. So x plus x equal to one eighty degree. So if we add two angles, then the result should be one eighty degree. X plus X how much ma? Before X any number is there? No, any number is not there. Plus plus one. Here before X any number is there? No, here also one. One plus one two. So X plus X two X equal to one eighty degrees. If we transpose two to that side, what will happen? It first connected with two. So when we transpose it to that side, it will become the 
division. So, x equal to 180 by 2. 2 and the 90 is a. x equal to 90 degrees. So, 2 and is a equal and supplementary. So, what is to each other find it? Now, look here. 2 and is a equal and supplementary to each other. Means, 90 plus 90. How much? 180. They both are equal. For 90, what is the supplement? 90. For what? 90, what is the supplement? 90. That means, for example, for 180, here, 100 plus 80, but only. But 180 is not equal angles. Clear. And what is the supplement of 180? What is the supplement of 80? 100. In the same way, but it has a given function, should be equal. What is the value then? The only possible values are 90 and 90. 90 plus 90, 90. And for the supplement of 90, it will be the answer for the question. So they are very simple. And now, if you have any doubts, you can ask me to clarify your doubts. Clear? And have to take the notes.